Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about Burp Suite. Burp Suite is a graphical tool mainly developed in Java and used for web application security testing. It's developed by a company named Port Swigger Security. There is a free version of Burp Suite with limited functionalities, and there is a paid version of Burp Suite with full functionality. There are several different components on Burp Suite, which we're going to talk about in this video and next video. Burp Proxy is the module which is intercepting web traffic. Burp Spider is the module which is used for crawling and mapping web pages. Burp Scanner is the module that is used for vulnerability scanning. Burp Proxy and Burp Spider are included in the free version of Burp Suite. Burp Scanner is the paid version of Burp Suite. So I'm just going to log into my Kali server again and run Burp Suite. So I need to go to web application analysis menu and you can see Burp Suite is right on the top. So I'm just clicking on it and run Burp Suite. As you can see, this is the free, free edition on Kali. You can create a temporary project. Obviously you can't save it because again, this is a free edition. And we're going to start with the default settings and it's just initiating the project and there we go so this is the interface of verb suite so as you can see the current version on color linux is 1.7.27 and you can see different modules and different components right at the top proxy spider scanner are the three that we just talked about so just like OSP Zap, Burp Suite works as a proxy and we could set our browser to send the traffic to Burp Suite. And that's how we basically do a lot of tests and a lot of interceptions. You can change the proxy settings of Burp Suite. If you go to the proxy and options, you can see by default it is running on localhost and port 8080, but you could basically change that if you want to. So I'm just going to run Firefox here. And let me just maximize it. And we just go to the settings. And go to the advanced network setting and as you can see the proxy settings is still there that essentially means that any traffic or any url which we type on the browser would be sent to our burp suite and it would be intercept the traffic would be intercepted on burp suite so we're going to Check our DVWA machine. As you can see, nothing is happening here, and I'll show you why. We just go to back to the Burp Suite, and you can see that the intercept tab has become orange. If you click on that, you see that it is intercept is on, and it's actually waiting for us to let the packet through. So I just Click on forward a few times to let the packets through and that is done and I go back to my Firefox and you can see that it is the login screen of my DVWA so next thing I'm going to do is just log in and again, because the traffic is intercepted on Burp Suite, you see 
this is in real time so you're basically seeing the traffic in real time so you see that request going to 192.168.56.200 you see the raw packet and the request you see the parameters that are being passed so you see admin and password the values that I'm passing and you see the header values and everything basically is pretty much there so you can turn off the intercept if you want to or if you want to intercept every single packet in between you could do that too so right here I could even go and change the values of the header if I want to or even parameters if I want to so I could change the username or the password or whatever I want to do here I could do that and then send send the HTTP packet to, to the server so you can see that you could do a lot of things in a live environment when dealing with verb suite so I'm just going to let this through so there are a lot of obviously default Firefox connections as well which are which are being intercepted we could exclude them on the proxy if we want to and i'm just going to go back to my firefox and you see that is now logged in so now what you can see in here is basically the urls which have been discovered on Burp Suite because of the proxy. So you see that there are a few different URLs here. And uh, you can see basically information about those URLs and the parameters and uh, status and basically what happened to um, the HTTP request and HTTP response. So if you want to send this to spider and basically start scanning the urls we could just do that spider this host so if you just right click on the url and go to spider this host that is basically how we start scanning the urls and start discovering the url so i could just simply do that and as soon as i do that it's just asking for confirmation and it would start you see that the URLs are being added here so it just starts discovering the URLs and it just finds whatever is on that application and if you just go there you see that the requests are made and it just gives you some indications of how things are working on the spider section so that's how we basically crawl a URL and try to figure out the URLs on Burp Suite. So it would discover a lot of additional URLs that we actually need. So if you want to start running a scan on the website, and that is when, when I say scan, I'm referring to the vulnerability scanning, similar to what we did with OASP Zap. You can again right click and as you can see the option for actively scan this host and passively scan this host is currently disabled because this is the free version of Burp Suite. But if you have the paid version of Burp Suite and use that version, you could basically start scanning the application right from here. And as soon as you start the scanning, it will be added to the scanner module here and you would see that the vulnerability scans would be started so these are the type of attacks and the type of vulnerabilities that will be discovered as part of the discovery and as part of the scanning so those three modules are the important critical modules of burp suite so the proxy module is where we start intercepting the traffic spider module is where we want to discover all the urls within an application to be able to scan them and the scanner obviously would do the vulnerability scanning on the application on the next video we're going to talk about some more advanced 
feature of Burp Suite. Thank you very much for watching and I will be with you in the next one.